Ba 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 right, here we go. Here we go. Hi and welcome to Ocean Recipes. I'm Graham, and today on this video, we're going to be making guacamole. Let's start with avocados. And for avocados, I'm going to show you quickly how to cut open into an avocado. Kind of score it all the way down. And then what I like to do is just kind of twist it. And as you can see, it came apart perfectly. So now, um, what I do is I hold the avocado like this and gently tap the knife in. Twist, and then the, the seed comes out right with it. Then you can go ahead and I have my trash can here, just bang it against, and the pit comes out. The other cool thing that I like to do with my avocados or guacamole is I like to score the avocados. I basically give them a diamond type shape. So I go, Lengthwise across this way, then I turn, maybe five, and go kind of like this. So what you're doing is you're kind of cross hatching them, and then pull. Go ahead and take a spoon and start from the long side, and then you can scoop it out. They come out in nice little pieces, so that you don't have to do a bunch of cutting and chopping. So, um, I'm going to do that one more time on this side so that you can see. And then rotate. Oops, I got a little side piece there, no worries. Toss that there. Again, spoon down. As you can see, it comes across little tiny pieces. You don't have to do much with any type of fork or spoon to mash up that avocado. I like to do two avocados. Obviously, for guacamole, um, per individual recipe. Um, if you're having a lot of guests, obviously you can do more. See, this one has a little bit of brown, but it's still good. So, um, what happens here is it has a, the avocados have an enzyme, and I think it's poly phenyl oxidase. I probably got that wrong. It basically, once air hits it, it oxidizes and it turns it brown. What to do with that is, anytime that you have that, it's still good to eat, but what you can do is add citrus, which you do in uh, guacamole, you add lime juice. And the lime juice has some antioxidants in it that help decrease the speed at which uh, the oxidation happens to the avocado. Now, as I said, I like to just quickly just make sure that we've got little pieces going here. Sometimes you can use a fork. I actually like using forks a little bit more because I like my guacamole a little bit more mushy but, than others. Now I'm going to take, I've already pre-cut some limes and made some lime juice here. I normally do about a tablespoon per avocado. You can do a little bit more. Obviously it's not going to drastically affect the flavor. I really like lime juice, so I always do a little bit more than a tablespoon, but my recommendation is about a tablespoon per, per avocado. So that's about right. And then you go ahead and start that. Now at this stage, depending on how ripe your avocados are, some of them will be, some pieces will be a little bit more ripe, and you'll go ahead and we'll start looking a lot more like that guacamole quicker, but I just like to just keep pounding, get it at least to a good stage here. Now, what can also help is at this point, I like to add my salt. So once you add your salt, it'll help round up some of those. Now what I do is about two to three turns per avocado, and that will help bruise up a little bit of this avocado for us. Now, Next thing to add is I like to add two things spice-wise. I like to add garlic powder and a little bit of cumin and some uh, cayenne pepper. So I do about a tablespoon, uh, ta a teaspoon of each one of those. I'll go ahead and toss that in. Now the next thing that I have here that I like to add is jalapeno and tomato. Um, traditional. Um, I have the seeds and the um, internal segment on the jalapeno in here because I want it a little bit hot for our R. And I normally do about 
one tomato to every two um, avocados that I use. These avocados are a little bit small, but um, almost there. Now, next thing I do is I do white onion. I know that a lot of people use red onion, but I do white onion because white onion is it's not as strong as the red onion, and I like to uh, blanch or quickly run my uh, onion underneath cold water because then it takes away a little bit of the bitterness. But it's uh, my favorite uh, um, cook, celebrity chef, whatever you want to call him. He does a guacamole recipe um, called Rick Bayless, and he always told he always does um, you know white onion with his. So, now, last three ingredients. I've got nice cilantro here, and what I like to do is I just take a stem of cilantro and I just hold it at that stem, and then I just peel all the other stems back down. It's okay to have some little stems like these guys, but the thick ones like this, you wanna take away. Now I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just bruise up the cilantro. And this is really just cutting it as quickly as you can. And remember when you're cutting to do the roll back your knuckle technique. So you don't want to ever cut like this. You want to keep your knuckles there and what you use is that flat part of your knuckle to cut. All right, cool. We've got that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Although if you want to, you can make it really nice. Okay, now, garlic. Now, what I do with garlic, I like to just take it on the board, smash it. And then simply, you just take out that outside toss, toss that away, and then I like to run vertically three or four times, and then I should listen to my own advice there. And I like to run it a couple times through, because you know it's not really good getting a big piece of garlic. Perfect. Now, last but not least, what I'm going to do is, going back to our first episode, is I'm going to go ahead and use uh, one of the original, one of the hot sauces that we tried. This is the medium hot sauce, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a nice little... Put that in there. Nice and hot. Now I chose that one because A, it's not the hottest, but also it has smoky flavor. So what else you can do with the jalapenos is you can roast those, or the onion, or the, even the tomatoes, and you can roast that and add the whole dimension to the flavor. Wow, I'm going all over the place. All right, so it's a little, those avocados were a little bit underripe, but looks good. Now, taste test time. Every little ingredient. Mm, very good. So, spiciness from obviously the hot sauce, but you also get that from the jalapeno. You also get the nice tomato, we get the cilantro coming through, and the avocados with the, that citrus. This is perfect for football games, tailgating, you know, anytime that you're really sitting down, relaxing, and a great way to end the summer. So, if you guys like this video, please comment below if you have any other questions about other ways to use avocados. We've got a lot of different recipes. I want to hear what you guys are thinking. And also, please subscribe and hit that bell so that you can get uh, notifications when we come out with a new video. Yeah, so this has been OCN Recipes. I'm Graham, and enjoy cooking.